gotta say. It's Thursday. It's not hump day. It's not Monday. It's not Saturday. It's just Thursday. Boring. Thank you for all that information. You're welcome. This is very important to know. Good. It's named after Thor, you know. Can I, um... Just whatever you want. I'm not stopping you. He's just full of information today. I'm really full of it. Just flowing out. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Yeah. Okay, Jim Waters, welcome to the neighborhood and thanks for the info. Big Blonde 99, welcome to the neighborhood. Big Blonde? Lindsay, right? Where? Lindsay Lee? Lindsay Leah. Lindsay Leah, welcome to the neighborhood. Julie McFarlane, welcome to the neighborhood. And I owe this person an apology. Nicole Gaines, I am so very sorry. I was looking at comments like <laughs> really, really early this morning and somehow I accidentally deleted their comment. So I quickly went on to their website and left couple of messages saying, I'm so sorry I deleted your message. Could you please leave your message again? I was half asleep and I was trying to do some work and I know I shouldn't do that because I always make mistakes when I do. But anyway, Nicole Games, thank you for leaving your message again and welcome to the neighborhood. And you guys all need to go check out the channel because it's a gaming channel and it's awesome. So, my question from yesterday was, have you ever been to the ER, and if so, what for? I'm not giving you my book to hold, so you put it out of my reach. Okay. Got lots of good answers on this one. I'm going to try and <laughs> shorten them as much as I possibly can. We will paraphrase. Can. Don't be upset. Okay. If she butchers them. <laughs> because they're long. Angie Lupus Life. Yes. For many health issues. That's short and sweet. Justina C. And appendicitis. And it was very scary. Tresemme 1. She found it really funny about my uh, excuse spring fever. Yeah. She has been to the emergency room many times. Three times by ambulance. One last year for her heart attack when she was at home. And two other times by ambulance for grand mal seizures mm -hmm. during her sleep. Mm -hmm. Bonnie Fazbeer, many times for ear infections. Nicole Gaines, Kevin, you might not want to listen to this one. It was five years old, and it was a windy summer, and I was at my grandma's house. I was wandering around the front yard as my grandma was doing yard work. I was thirsty, so I went inside and grabbed a water bottle and headed back out. When I was at the front door and was beginning to close the door, a big gust of wind came through and slammed the big and heavy wood door right on my upper portion of my pinky finger. The tip of my pinky finger was being held onto by a tiny piece of skin. Family members grabbed some ice for my finger and grabbed me, and we rushed to the ER. The doctor that was there should not have had their, their license. They numbed my finger, which they never, it was never numb, and began stitching my finger back on. Plot twist, I wasn't numb at all, and I was in excruciating pain. Ow. Yeah. So, I was rushed to the ER due to the top quarter part of my finger chopped off. Not a pleasant experience. Would not do it again. He's 17 now. Day to the cut myself. Yeah. My little finger is one of the few that they managed to put back on. Vincent Gutierrez. 
Yes, I have been to the ER when I was about 12 years old. I jumped off a bench while with a twist and a roll of my ankle. And he had to walk on crutches for two weeks. And that's when they lived in a two-story apartment and they didn't have an elevator. So he had to go up and down the stairs on crutches. Tanya Ray. She was in the emergency room for a staph and strep infection in her ankle. And it wasn't fun. They hurt. Dougie Style. I have been to the ER three times in my life. I'll just describe one. I was removing a label from a transformer using a single edge razor blade. And my hand slipped and I ended up slicing my finger on the other hand. The blood flowed enough to convince me a band-aid wasn't enough to help. So I told my supervisor what happened and she drove me to the ER, which was only a few blocks away. And it required stitches. And then they bandaged it up with a lot of gauze. Needless to say, he's more careful with razor blades now. Glad to hear that. Bella Luna, after we put this up, I actually just got home an hour ago from taking my husband to the ER for kidney stones. The way he acted, I thought he might be having a baby. Man. I have been to the ER many times and always got admitted to the hospital from diabetic complications and Crohn's disease flare-ups. Rebecca Hessler. I've been to the ER several times. How much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Better pull up a chair. Uh, once she went in for surgery to remove her gallbladder. And several times during pregnancies due to extreme morning sickness. And just recently I took my two-year-old in because he fell off the counter and split his chin open. In a week, and a week later fell on an old wood board and had to have several splinters removed from his hand. Two weeks ago I took my eight-year-old in for two concussions in one week. I know I've forgotten several but those are the trips that stand out in my mind. We need to send her some bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, you need to bubble wrap your kids. Terry Johnson been to the ER, gallbladder attack, it was later removed, food poisoning, she ate cake at school. Don't do that. I hope the kids didn't eat it. <laughs> uh, couldn't stop throwing up. Years ago, I went to Vegas and my contact lens got stuck, lenses got stuck in my eyes. Ow. I had to go to the ER to get them removed. The abyss. Went to the ER a couple of years ago for accidentally stabbing himself in the webbing between his finger for and his index finger and his thumb. Were you playing that game where you gotta do the knife? Hmm? Hmm? Were ya? Don't do that. <laughs> it's dangerous. Lone Wolf. As you know, yes I do know, Lone Wolf is my father. He, I've been to the emergency Many times, and you know I hate it there. Mm-hmm. I know. Every time he has to go there, all we hear all the way there is, I don't want to go now, because 99% of the time we take them there, they end up having to admit them. Mm-hmm. He has to eat the food there. <laughs> Crimson Fairy. ER trips. Myself, migraines, kidney infection, kidney stones, gallstones, brain infection. Late husband, broken back twice. Break of reality, means he had a uh, mental breakdown. Friends, anxiety attacks, kidney stones, other. Daughter, infections, fever, I know the ER very well. And Whitney Broderson, in Hawaii, was with my mom and my stepdad, and I was walking, honestly walking around the bench, and it was kind of rainy, so I don't know when I fell down, but I fell down right on my nose. That bench move? He says the toilet moves. You know, objects move. That's what happens. I'm telling you. That's what did it. It wasn't you, Whitney. Trust me. It's the objects around us. They move. Mm -hmm. Have you been to the emergency room? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I have. 
Yeah? For what? Three times for my hip. Four times, maybe. Maybe five. Shattered <laughs> my hip first time. Um, spent uh, the next month in the hospital. And uh, the next three or four were from dislocating my hip before they replaced it again. Um, and then, of course, cutting these things off. Oh my gosh, when he cut his fingers off, I don't know how I kept it together, but I did. Everybody was crying but me. And how about you? My I've dear? never been to the emergency room. Well, I think there was a while there that we were there weekly. <laughs> they knew me. They had my own my own room. Um, but I'll tell you about the very f one of not the very first time, but one one time in particular. Um, Kevin and I were kind of fairly new at dating, and um, I had just had a stomach surgery, maybe three weeks prior, and he had spent the night, and Megan was home, and, and Megan was like nine or ten, and I woke up, and I was crying in excruciating pain, crying, so he takes me to the hospital, they get me into a room, I'm in so much pain, I'm crying. First time ever I got a shot of Dilaudid through an IV. I went from crying to laughing to sound asleep in what? Uh, about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Megan was in there with us and she, she's like, Mom, stop crying, stop crying, and then I'm laughing and she's like, what are you laughing at? And then I'm like, <sighs> today is what creeps you out and why get out of my ear, of my ear. <laughs> what's this get out of my ear hey, what's not your ear here this is your ear <laughs> hey get out of my ears what creeps you out and why <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Yeah. Beep, beep, beep! Boop, boop! Beep, beep, boop, boop! Alrighty! Oh, I, 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 ah, ah, that, that. I was told that I forgot to tell everybody who got the questions right about Planet of the Apes, so I will do that now! About time! Bella Luna, Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, Bambi S, and Greg Meyer. Okay, so last night's question was about the movie Sixth Sense, 1999, with Bruce Willis and Haley Joel Osment. Uh, in the opening scenes, when um, the character uh, Malcolm meets Cole for the first time, Cole says something in Latin, and he says, uh, De profundis clamo at te domine, which translates to be, Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Psalm 130. Doesn't explain why he says it. Maybe somebody can come up with an answer to that. But he says that. So the people who got it was Terry Johnson, Bambi S, The Abyss, 92882, and Greg Myers. Woo got it that time. Today's question, kind of an interesting one. Um, 1994 Halloween 5, starring Danielle Harris, one of my favorite screen queens. Who's the man in black? And that's all I have. You are all or that wait, wait. There's your trivia question for tonight. <laughs> you are all part of our tri our trivia. <laughs> you are all part of our trivia. <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. Here's the question. Trivia question. <laughs> Why does anybody watch us? Well, yes, why? Will you be quiet so I can finish? Finish! You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, yeah. I, I dropped for a moment. I'm just gonna do this. It's just a heck of a mess.